Uh, this is a model of a strike slip fault. The two pieces of wood, they're sliced all the way through here, and there's grooves going in this direction, perpendicular to the fault zone. This We're going to tighten in this direction here, which will cause motion like this, which is right lateral strike slip motion. And fault zones don't have uniform friction. Usually there are spots that are stuck patches, which we call asperities. And each noodle in this model represents an asperity. So as I turn the... Uh, tighten the vise, you can see the fault is starting to move, but now the noodles which are acting as asperities are preventing that motion. I'm going to move very slowly and we'll see what happens in terms of the sequence of noodle breakages. Slowly I'm turning crank and now I'm not seeing much motion right. Oh, there we go. One earthquake went. One small earthquake. Another one, another. I'm turning at a uniform speed. I can feel the stress is building up. So what we had was sequence of, oh, there goes another one, a sequence of events where there were a few at the beginning, and then there were quite a few in the middle that might have represented a little bit larger earthquake or multiple asperities, one breaks after the other. And then right at the end we had another pop or two, which would be aftershocks, or equivalent to aftershocks.